What's good, DMs? It's your boy Cybersonic Tista. Another episode on my DMs podcast with your boy Cybersonic. I got the, I got my partner in crime, man. Like yes, up in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, you know we give you the best interviews, right? We put you up and close with your favorite artist. You know when you where you need to come to get that juice. We got another legend up in the house. We got the legendary Kid X. Uh, what up, my boy? What's good, famo? Hey, dog. It's good to see you, bro. Likewise, my we were supposed dog, to do this last week, but you know, a couple of things happened, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's not even touch on that. <laughs> we here right now. We here right now, right? Yes, um, bro, an investor comes up to you, right? Yeah. Builds you your million dollar dream studio. Yes, One sir. condition. You gotta put up two pictures of two South African artists to pay homage to the game. Who are those? It's true. Um yo. Definitely pro kid. Okay. Up in there. Uh-huh. Uh, fire portrait. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the second one. Hey, Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tricky with the second one. I think. I, I think we'll find the name. We'll as find the, the way. Inter- okay. As cool. the interview. As progresses. the interview goes, let's find yes, the name. Uh, brother. Um, what is what is what does living mean to you, man? Like. What is a, a person has been so exposed in the game? What, what does living mean? What type of question? To you? <laughs> <Up> the game. <laughs> Welcome to my DM podcast. <laughs> Welcome to my. What does living mean to you? Living for me means uncovering your experience of of whatever it is existing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and sort of taking advantage of whatever opportunities might be out there. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, man. It, it just means being in the moment. I think that's actually my final okay. answer. Okay. Being in the moment, okay. that's what living is for me. Outside of your career, yes. what personal achievements felt just as important or were as powerful yeah. as your career? Like, on a personal side, though. I think um, getting married. Okay. Okay. Becoming a father. Okay, now. Yeah, I think those two are actually top of my list. Where did, you, where did you meet your your, 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 your your lady? Where did we meet? Yeah, where? We met in Durban. Okay. Um, met at uh, Max's Lifestyle. Okay. And who, what were the chats? It were was like? about 2014, if I remember correctly. Okay, okay. Yeah, she You're ran up on me. You were popping by then. Yeah, man. <laughs> you were you on stage, though? <laughs> I wasn't on stage. We were, we, were, we were about to perform, so probably like 20 minutes before we jump on stage. Would you say she was like a... You, you fell in love with a group you were a fan? Um... I don't know, but I think she she was someone who obviously regarded me on some level, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously she wanted to book me the first time she actually ran up on me, so that's what the initial convo was about. Okay, when cool. she pulled up on me like, "Yo, uh, I will." Oh, that's the story she told you. <laughs> that's actually what happened. You know what I mean? And no, she, I mean, they, was she trying to book you, or she was trying to book, book you? Book, but they booked me. Okay. okay. You get me. So, okay. right. um, I think obviously we we exchanged contacts. We started talking, and then uh, I think things picked up from there. For me, and I, I saw someone who I could actually start some sort of uh, relationship oh, with. I, I never saw it as something that would eventually become like a lifetime partner. Did you and give her a discount with that? <laughs> no, no, no. Full price. I gave her full price, full quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 X, um, you know, life is a beautiful thing. Humans are such beautiful thing. We have five senses, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, if you were to add a sixth sense, what would that be? We have six senses. No, nah, we have five. I got six. Okay, what's the sixth one? <laughs> <laughs> what's the sixth one? I'm di- I'm working with six. I don't know okay. what charge. Okay, what's, what's the sixth one? What's the sixth one? <laughs> Break it down, <laughs> shit. You got it too. We, I mean, we all got a six. Okay, what's what's the sixth sense? Break it it's down. It's your intuition, dog. Okay. Yeah. You regard that as a and 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 what roles has that sixth sense came into like what crucial like maybe a situation an event or just a funny situation when when it came in you felt it like okay no no that's that sixth sense is, is real a lot of the time oh yeah yeah a lot dog um I pay attention to it a lot because um I mean sometimes you get that feeling inside where you're like ish should I call to anything should I go to I should have listened to my sixth sense <laughs> last week. <laughs> when I should have tapped in like should I go to this uh, in my DM oh, podcast okay, okay, okay. I ignored it you get me yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, for me I pay attention to it dog I yeah. feel like it it informs me about things that uh, that I'm picking up on like a vibrational yeah, level that yeah. 
um, uh, obviously about hazards or whatever I should mm. look out for my pets. So. And does is, is it, does that does that apply to the music as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. definitely. Okay, okay. Uh, brother, man, look, man. Um, we're coming up to elections, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I don't want to talk about that. I want to focus on the youth. In yes. your futuristic mindset, man, where are the youth failing? I don't think the youth are failing, no. Okay. <clears throat> I think the youth are being the youth. You get me? Okay. Yeah. I think everyone has to go through whatever stage the youth are going through right now in order to find themselves better. So, I mean, I'll make an example about when I was a youth myself. I was wilding out, though. Like, I, I was ignorant. And certain things that I felt like in terms of just taking on responsibilities, I didn't want to hear that chat. I was focused on, yo, let me just live out these young days and let me let me find myself. Let me figure out who I am. And I think that's what we're seeing with the youth now. I'm speaking about um, the younger youth. So this is probably... Um, 25 and under okay 16 yeah. 15 so up from 16 20, to yeah, 25, 25 you know what i mean yeah. i think once you hit 25 to 35 it becomes a different child it's a different story because then um the expectation is that you found yourself and now you should be making very responsible adult type of uh decisions and but let me hit you with future. this right uh facebook came out with a with a report that they said um they found that you know Facebook platform, specifically Instagram, yeah. is contributing to a lot of mental depression and, and, and that type of chat, especially for females. Yeah. Um, being a youngin at that age, do you? Because I rate that it's too much of this online social media. Is it good? Is it bad? You in the game, hip hop, of course, we live off the social media, you know, internet world. But yes. um, what, what, what's your what's your opinions on that? I think social media is a new dynamic for everyone. Mm. Um, whether it's good or bad, it's it's what you make of it. You mm. get me. Um, I think if you misuse it, then there's a risk. It, it could really affect you in a very negative way. I think uh, for me as a musician, um, it's a it's a very important tool with regards to reaching my audience in in little to no to no buffer time. So I I try. I think people understand where I am in my life, and they respect that. And you but, don't have any. But ex, come on, your fans don't understand that. I'm serious, Not everybody knows you married like that. I know, like, it might yeah, be but, out there, but, but I think on an aura level, on an energy level, I think that's what I okay. also just, you know what I mean, give off. So you and, haven't got any. Yeah, I, I have. But now you know. Dog, like. I'm the ex, I'm the dog, I think, I think <laughs> the, de- the demeanor speaks for itself, and I think people really like respect that which is like a dope thing you know what i mean but when people come to you so like especially females now that you're married how do you when do it do come with that energy how do yeah. you how do you handle that situation um fun i have to give it to you straight straight um, up yeah, yeah okay. i have to give it to the real okay can we check can you check that yeah you can all right let's go so is this what the show is about? <laughs> <laughs> it's my DMs, man. That's it. Now nah, my DMs are a mess. Alright, let's go. You know, let's check out the phone. We got the phone. Let's see what's going we're on. Uh, so I don't worry. Scroll, we're, we're doing. Scroll, we're doing. We're doing. Uh, which DMs are you guys trying to mess with? Hey, man. The IG level. The Instagram is always active. Okay. This okay. This is not. Alright, pass it that side. Pass it that side. Let me see. You guys. What's going on? Let me see what's going on. Primary, you got. Um, you don't. The first one is Mister 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 South Africa. Okay, that's that's yes. I'm against that's your brother. That's cool. Yeah, yeah that's you, my you, dude. You, oh, you that's just your dude. Go for the, Percy for the actual DMs. Now nah, that's 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 dude. okay. We got uh, we got uh, okay. We got Doctor Lag Chocolate. Doctor Cho- uh, Chocolate. My, my it, it's, it's like it's like this is most of the team. Like these are I'm going down. Dog, my like, DMs are sanitized like fully. No, these oh. are bro. Yeah. Like yes, these are these are these are these is work related. Like facts. Oh. Like so TJ no, uh, said. Nah, I'm just oh, having wow. niggas, bro. Ah, no, just, legit. These are our old dudes, hey. Like there's dog, no I'm, one I'm, female. I'm vibrating different in this. I, th- I think he, I think he checked our our, our podcast. <laughs> so that question is you can't sanitize already. You yeah. can't sanitize already. He can't sanitize already. DM is I tried. Did he, did I he? tried. Okay. Uh Madam Y Kidex. Um you should be proud of your boy, your gentleman, your husband. <laughs> you guys it's for life. It's for life. It's, it's for life. <laughs> Shout out for that, brother. Shout out for that, man. Um, I clean. Another question, how after how long do you after how long 
do you wash your bed sheets? I try and do it like um, weekly. Do okay, you cool. wash your bed sheets? No, no, no. Okay. Well, men, 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 men comes yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, those yeah. are the perks. Those are the perks, man. Yes, sir. You're the perks. Abbreviation for Wi Fi. Is there? <laughs> What's the abbreviation? What's the abbreviation for Wi Fi? A W, I guess. <laughs> Is it no? I always get over this one. Nah. Is it WF? It, it, it means something. Nah. Let me give you a hint. Wireless. And then you, 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 you finished the other part. You got wireless. Um. Oh, guys. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. On to the next. <laughs> Let me give you an easy one. What's the last thing you screenshot? Um, probably like a pic I couldn't save because I don't have space on the phone. Why don't you have space on the phone? Yeah, I'm, I'm using the original iPhone. Okay, cool. So like, yeah, so... But, but I feel like the trick of, of like taking screenshots is, 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 is the proper one now. Yeah. It yeah, says yeah. it's full, like I know it. just like, <laughs> 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 And then we move. Yeah. Full. Three people that need to hear of your record before it drops. Nobody. Nobody. Ah, dog. Yeah, I don't how, know. How do, you, how do you quality control? I don't do that. So how does it, okay, take us through the, you record what happens. I record, I tap in to how am I feeling about the song. I, it's moving. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Nothing. So obviously, if you're the be, producer or like just. I mean, the producer has to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, he's in the studio. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, does he, is his opinions do do they matter or is just like nah? Yeah. On the production level, I mean, if he feels like he can tighten the beat and take it to a different place, then nobody in the team. Not but my quest. Hey, quest. What do you think, brother? No, like that? No. 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 Simply because, um, for me, now my music. Is, is a different thing altogether and the intent with it is, is a different thing right mm-hmm. I'm like a Pablo Picasso with a canvas when, when I create right mm-hmm. yeah so now who does Pablo need to c- bring in to like approve okay. like oh yeah I see what you want ish you want yes. that to Here's, I'm done tell me what you think you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's about understanding the expression because mm-hmm. for me my music is an expression um and when I am done with it, I'm done. This is my expression. So whatever you feel about it is secondary to mm. how I feel about it. Yeah. And the most important thing for you to do as a consumer is to understand what I was trying to express. Mm. Okay. No facts. Clean. clean, clean, clean. So you've never, you've never had one <laughs> brother's <laughs> nose. No, no, no. No, to, but I'll take you it. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And and it, it's it's self-explanatory. I think. I think. No. Um. I mean, even listen to your new album, bro. Like it's it's. But we'll we'll get into that. Men, I guess. Yeah, I that? think you know my thing is you know in a studio setting, for example, with with not even to go too but going too far, like boom shagala. Yes. How that creative process where there's a beat maker there, and you go like, I think I've got something. Yeah. Do you specifically choose who you want to be on the song, or it happens with whoever's around? And you're like, I think your verse would fit based off who's around, or you mm. wait, give it a week, call the other guy. How does that yeah. work? Yeah, um, I mean, it differs from it's from song to song. Mm-hmm. So some songs, because they're happening in the moment, mm. you sort of pick up the energies, and you're like, yo, okay, whatever I've put down on this song, I think you such and such because you here already mm-hmm. could really give me a dope uh, perspective on what we're covering so um, yeah it happens different ways some days you walk out the studio itching where there were a thousand rappers and you walked out with a song that's still missing a verse because you felt like yo I they were not I don't fit. feel like anyone in the room captures or would give me the perspective that I need so yeah, it differs from song to song. X, at this point in your career, do you still feel the need to be signed to a big recording company, um, like a major, like one of these? You know, I'm signed to a major right now. Okay. So, yeah, don't fuck up my. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you signed to? Hold on, you signed I'm to? with Sony. Oh, the Sony. Yeah. And what's the value that they put in? Uh, they distribute uh, my shit and okay. they market my shit. So, okay. Yeah, I okay. think it's important. Uh, I signed the deal back in 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, I felt like I needed that major label support okay. then simply because I was about to embark on a solo career mm. and <clears throat> I had a limited amount of knowledge about 
just how to maneuver the game and how to maneuver in the spaces so i needed someone with a machine to actually get me into some of the spaces that i, I knew personally i wouldn't have the time to try and facilitate and i mean they serve that purpose pretty well right now the album is out it's everywhere um and we're moving man they they definitely do their thing what do you do you still record this like something you could have done a lot lot more at cash time or it's like nah that chapter's done i got I, the juice i could have gotten i've squeezed all everything out what do you mean specifically anything from music career from a music point from a hit yeah. point from yeah. maybe a brand point um now looking back it's like you know maybe if a year or two or maybe if i did a bit of that i could have squeezed yeah. a, a lot a little bit a little bit more juice um no because you have to look at um what actually transpired with the whole cash time thing and mm. why it it ended when it did simply because we had a difference in vision okay so that makes it very tough to like really plot and work on long-term things simply because you have your own idea of okay this is how i see x but x has his own dreams and he's got his own mind map of like yo this is where i'm trying to be so it becomes very tough to like uh consolidate the two and to i guess create forward motion with two different destinations yeah fast forward a uh, fast forward um you know you with sony now what's what's the relationship between you and rap life like what's what's the standing like yeah rap yeah. life is done brother okay like yeah. 100 that's never gonna happen but you're still good with, with, with Quester, right? we good yeah okay, we cool. civil okay we, we niggas about we it. niggas about it yeah now. yeah, yeah. Now, that's good to hear but let's talk about the album i'm excited about that um yes, sir. give me the creation the creation aspect of it like why 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 this album what what are you what are you trying to achieve with this album i want to bring people into the very intimate part of my life mm-hmm. i want them to understand who i am at level beyond kid x so this you're is, speaking like a married man now <laughs> i'm giving people i don't know he's speaking like a father now <laughs> yeah he's yeah, like going to... go like nah, fuck <laughs> that kid x <laughs> i'm here now <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. allowing people to peek behind the veil of, okay. of, of just uh, the artist character that I've, I've put forward for the longest time. So um, I'm also just bringing people into the depth of my mind, like just the type of things that I think about my belief system, uh, the things that I really worry about, the things that I'm projecting for my future, what I'm still trying to achieve, uh, how I relate to the people around me. Um, how I feel about things that I've gone through. Yeah. So what do you worry about? I worry about humanity. How so? And where we headed. I worry about where we find ourselves and why we find ourselves where we are. Because I think at the point that we are right now, we we self-destructing. We 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 destroying each other. If do you, you think it's it's something that came with for example if you, especially if you're going deep that came with covid is this state of mind a, a covid mindset would you have been in the same frame had they not been covid so prior to covid i for me i, I i've always felt from a sixth sense level Uti, we're not living the way we're supposed to be living so is this from a society media politics like just or oh, is it everything it wrapped all up trickles in one? Down to okay, everything. Same thing. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? It all. Um, it's one and the same thing. Yeah, it, yeah. it affects every area of. How do we life. solve it? Do um, we solve it? Yeah, there, there's a song called "The Cure." On, on shout out, <laughs> shout out on the album, on the project. Yeah, and, and the cure um, that I speak of on them is, is not necessarily a cure for COVID. Mm. It's a cure for just. The, the challenges that we face as humans um, my belief is um, a lot of them come from just the ego so the egoic mind is something that um, is responsible for a lot of the fucked up shit that happens in the world and we, sure. we too associated with the egoic mind just as, as human beings so for me um, I realized that we need to go back to a time where 
there's less thinking. Less thinking and more being present. Because when you're present, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. present, there's actually nothing to think about. Because if you can de-associate de- from your mind and just live in your body, dog, there's no sickness that could potentially affect you. There's you you realize with your body as as uh, as an organ is capable of thinking better than your mind that you constantly live in and create all these situations in. So we need to go back to just being fully present, dog. If there's no one in the house, chances are thieves can do whatever they want. But if you inhabit your house, your house being your body, if you inhabit your house and you are fully there. Like you can feel your last toe, the sensations that are happening in there, dog. There's there's a lot of brain power in that small toe, hmm. and your whole body, Fana, is it's got ma- it's got um. Okay, these are not technical terms. This is very layman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I know yeah, experts yeah. are gonna watch. This. <laughs> <laughs> but your mind Mfana, is capable like all your org- all your all your all your cells have have the ability to to like function as a mind if, if I can put it that way okay. and off the back of that another real question I want to ask you X you, you, you got you, you recently got married you know you, you you've got a daughter now do you still is there the the union of marriage is is it still relevant in, in our generation or in these modern times? Like, why did you get married? Why should anybody get married? With yeah. What's going on social media? <laughs> and, 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 and. Yeah. yeah. So you spoke about what's going on on social media, and that's the biggest problem. Put your phone down. <laughs> Put your phone down, oh, my brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you if you live in the real world, then you realize that um, the PR that like um, marriage has received is because of people who let's say who meet find an interest in each other and then later on are people who are distracted and they have seen a thousand other options on social media and now the attention that they used to give to this one partner is split and now they beginning to feel dissatisfied because now so is there like a rule in your house like at dinner no or dms <laughs> no dms like, there's no or just rule. like or just like no let's just drop the phone like i want everybody to be present when we have having dinner is no there like, there's there's no spoken rule but i think it's 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 something that me and my wife both understand like on a deep level of just making sure that we are still connecting with each other uh sufficiently during the day so you um, like should put your phone in you guys you, you plugged on to show you actually have conversation without the phone on and i mean it doesn't it's not something that happens every day okay because days have their own activities sometimes you you've got a day jam-packed with uh work and whatever the case is but it, we always come back to that point of like yo okay we need to lock in we need to make sure that we're both on the same page and yeah, it, it's about watering. It's like a tree, dog. Yeah. 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 If we both watering the thing, and making sure that yo, this thing is well taken care of, then I mean, yeah. Music videos to look out for, uh, based on the new project. Uh, it's a bit crazy, because, like you know, the initial response to the project when uh, I, I'd initially put it out, uh, until today, mm. like I get people who hit me up about every single track on the album shit dope like, which is a good thing every single song has come up as like a potential a favorite for someone mm. because this song spoke to me and it's your mm. vana oh my god and that's song. what that's the reaction you want that's dope so yeah definitely yeah. but it becomes tough when you now have to figure out when you have to play least w- no. what you're moving forward yeah. with but um yeah i want to shoot I'm, I'm, I'm shooting i'm planning a couple of videos at the moment sure. uh i think because it's the the end of the year and yes, the type of energy that we 
we're dealing with yes, around this time of the year. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tap into some of the more festive mm-hmm. vibes and, and give those visuals and Definitely. make sure that we sort it. So that yeah. top of the year, when people are more mellow, more relaxed, fresh reboots hit them with for the, the new year, <laughs> we hit them with the cure. <laughs> we hit them with, you know what I mean? Something yeah, to inspire yeah. them inspire for the year them. ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. how I'm moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Um, okay, we got music playing. That's off the album right what's that definitely okay. not i don't know that beat what sounds, sounds like we're in china sounds like we're in china sounds so like a dope beat let's just play it's time for freestyle let's get it okay do you still have it you still, you still got those back in the day freestyle type of let's go i do but i don't want to freestyle on the beat yeah yeah we in uh, I'm that nigga, fuck up, Zach, out in stores. Yeah.